Hi everyone, Johnny here working on my film study skills. A friend of mine asked me to look at modern BJJ in MMA, so we are revisiting the Rahul Raju and Gary Tonin fight from One Championship's Reign of Kings. In this first set of sequences, I wanted to highlight Gary's excellent Marotagari or double leg takedowns that he employed with great success in this fight. A combination of timing, elevation and drive was utilised to off-balance Rahul and secure the takedowns. To get back to his feet, Rahul would often employ a strong overhook or whizzer and Gary would counter this with constant head pressure, driving forward and looking to break Rahul back down to the mat by taking away his base with Kosotagari or minor out to leg reap attempts. I've laid this film study out a little bit differently to highlight the various instances where these tactics were employed. As you can see, Gary repeatedly uses this strategy to great success to break the fight back down to the mat. There are many other interesting things which I won't be covering in this film study, so it's worthwhile to check out that fight if you haven't already done so. In this next set of sequences, we get to look at the Danaha Death Squad leg lock game in an MMA context. This first entry was just beautiful, with Gary underhooking Rahul's left leg and rolling into the cross ashy or saddle position. To me, the entry was reminiscent of a modified Kanabasami or leg scissor takedown, utilising the arm instead of the leg and the roll through to counter Rahul's positioning against the cage. Full credit to Rahul Raju for surviving the inside heel hook attempts. There were many moments where I thought there was going to be a tap or a snap and when reviewing it carefully I think there were only minute details that allowed him to survive these attempts. Typically for maximum breaking pressure to be applied there needs to be a coupling of opposite rotational forces and Rahul manages to absorb some of the forces by straightening his leg and rotating at the hip. The MMA gloves also make it difficult to secure the heel on the sharp bones of the wrist, giving Rahul space to slip his heel on the meaty part of Gary's forearm. In this next sequence, Gary throws a rear round kick that gets caught and leads to him getting tripped. However, Gary turns his trip into a leg entanglement, utilising Rahul's momentum from chasing the sweep into a modified sumigeshi throw. Looking at it from a second angle, you can see where Gary posts off Rahul's right bicep to tip him over and he follows up by entering into a cross ashi leg entanglement. We then get another look at an inside heel hook attempt and I think most people would have tapped if they were caught in this situation. I don't think Gary got the loading that he wanted with his right leg to create the opposite rotational force to his heel hook, and Gary adjusts by trying to extend the loaded leg away to chase the tap. In this last sequence, I wanted to highlight the Danaha back attack system in action, with Gary controlling the hand fight, securing a cross wrist position before isolating Rahul's right arm with his right leg. I didn't want to show the ending to this fight in this study, however it is well worth re-watching the fight after this video to appreciate all the details I've discussed and many more that I haven't. Obviously all credit goes to one championship and the fighters Rahul Raju and Gary Tonin. I hope you've enjoyed this look at modern BJJ in MMA. Thanks for watching.